Safety Flight sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley. Well, good evening. It is 9 o'clock. It is a Monday night and it is time to tin your tip with myself, Gary Dibley, and the ever-capable Modmaster that is Mark. Um, this week, uh, a little short for stuff to do. Um, started making something in the shed and ended up filming it. And I believe this week Mark is looking at a repair job. Um, all good stuff. If I have to cut in and out, I do apologise. I have a little bit of a, a problem at the moment. I, I have a uh, hiatus hernia that had decided to, to go thermal on me this week. Um, and it's blooming killing me. Um, so yes, I may have to uh, snip in and out if, if I decide to die on screen. Um, but few things. Firstly, I'm going to start with an apology. Um, due, due to having a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem this week, I haven't got this stuff out to wrap things, and I do apologise for that. I do have a, a nice little kit made up for you that I will be posting out for the uh, for the challenge chat. Um, and uh, and she, I say she because I I think for some reason I thought it was a man, and I do apologise again. It is in fact a woman. Um, I may be the only one who is surprised by that. Um, but everybody was screaming at me in the background while we were doing last week's show, and I totally ignored them and made myself look a complete twonk, um, which I'm quite good at. Um, lots of stuff happened this week. I'm going to start with something very, very quickly, um, and uh, and I'll pop back into after this. <laughs> And I tell you what, how lucky are we to have a very talented um, fellow like Andy Sutton on our side. Um, amazing little bit of uh, a, a snippet there of, of just what is capable. And I believe, obviously, Kickstarter is going guns at the moment. And if you haven't already, um, pledge up on that. Uh, here on, on Tin Your Tip, um, we don't normally do the you know the the political stuff a because i don't understand half of it um and and b you know this is a, a modding show however we can help and uh, as as a modding show um i've decided that everything i make um from next week uh, onwards um we may do some sort of a, a little bit of a uh, an auction a raffle whatever and and whatever funds we raise from the mods that i make during during the next few shows um, will go towards the uh, the Kickstarter campaign. Um, I am going to be initially. I'm going to be putting up the the mofo. Um, that is one that's definitely going up for the Kickstarter. And I have some spare cherry, so I am going to be putting up Stumpy. Stumpy will be going up for for either auction or raffle or something like that for the Kickstarter campaign. And speaking of kicks, it has got a kick in now, and it is is going guns. Flush with somebody will all we can. Sort of very, very quick. Nothing to do with what we're doing today. Uh, firstly, I do have my kick 
Um, so this is now in kick mode. Um, and thanks, Daz, for getting that out to me. Very good in kick mode. Um, lovely. It's now variable wattage. Uh, th this is just something I wanted to give you a brief run over um, what I was doing. Um, nothing at all to do with uh, what we're going to make today. Still haven't got a clue what we're going to make today. Um, but this is an offcut of, of Worktop. Um, I nicked from my brother-in-law because he's having a new kitchen fitted. Um, and this is uh, like one of the old oaky, uh, you know, oak wooden jobbies. Um, good for staining and all that sort of stuff. The only thing that I haven't used um, at this present time uh, when it comes to the Vamo is the end cap, which we have here. Uh, and this is the only thing I haven't used. We've used pretty much everything from the Vamo. Uh, we've used the uh, the board for making something. We've used the tube for making uh, Stumpy. Um, now this thing here, what I've done is just drilled a, a hole in the middle there and, uh, and that is going to sit very snugly and nicely in the middle of that board. Um, I do have another hole over this side um, and what I've done is basically I'm going to use the uh, the other bit of the, of the Vamo tube. I'm going to drop that down inside there and I shall be able to pop a battery down inside there. Why I hear you screaming. The other hole I have is in the side here of which I'm going to put a switch in there. All of this is going to be channeled through and basically what I then have is a, uh, a little board that I can I can use for doing my, my rebuildables on. Get it all stained up nicely. Should be a good job. Um, basically what you'll be able to do then is, is screw, I've got a little did here, screw your mod on the top and use this as a platform for uh, for doing your bits, your wicking and all that sort of stuff. Um, with the battery in place, what I'll be able to do then is, uh, you know, while I'm adjusting all my, my, bit, my loopy bits and coils and all that sort of stuff, I've also got the facility then, rather than taking that off and, and putting it on a mod uh, to pulse the, uh, pulse the coil, I can do that straight on the board. Just pulsing the coil, watching it go down. Um, and I know then when I take that off and use it, it's, it's perfect. I'm going to keep balancing it around on a mod or anything like that to pulse it. Um, straight on the board, build it, pulse it on the board. Um, battery holder down in there. Little 18350. Jobs are good. Stain it up. And it should come in useful. Just something I'm making for me uh, for my own purpose. Um, if you do want to see that in depth, I'll, I'll more than happily do it, but I thought you had... Um, uh, enough of wood for, for a couple of weeks um, and I believe oh, Mark might be doing some wood so we don't want to be totally wood but you know something you can do from uh, from a little uh, off cut of um, a worktop nice little atty building station with built in pulsing facility there we go uh, I'm going to carry on with um, with finding something to, to actually make today um, rather than keep getting sidetracked by scrap bits of wood I will uh, I will pop away and I'll come back to you in two. I thought, what the heck? I got to a certain point, and I thought, do you know what? It might be worth doing. Um, Racking his brains for something else to do and I thought well I've got this lady in front of me what's the point what I've done um, obviously I spoke where we were earlier um, I've decided rather than trying to drill through I've actually gone under um, and routed around and the reason for that it's going to be very easy for me to pop my wires through what I intend to do then is backfill this with uh, with epoxy and I intend to put a nice little leather uh, bottom on so, uh, so I can use it inside and it's not going to scratch stuff about so by far the easiest way was to drill through, route a route for the wires. What that enabled me to do is run my wires down inside that route, pop them all up, nice and easy, backfill that over, nice layer of uh, a, a leather, stain it up, should be a nice little piece to sit on the top as well. So, got as far as, as that. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, if I put me uh, me 
pulse station to one side. I'm just doing a, a, a nipple. <laughs> Got to do a nipple at least once a day. Um, and what I've done effectively is just let me see how far I can go down. Bear there. I backfilled this nipple with solder. Um, I'm just going to tin up the end. What I'm trying to do is drop that sort of dead central but sticking it upwards. Can't really see that. Sticking straight up. And there's perfectly good reason for that, which you will see in a minute. Just hold that until it cools off. So my, my pos wire is coming straight out of the bottom of that. Now, the reason for doing that, I said there was a perfectly good reason. Um, I'm going to drop it straight down through the mod now. So when I drop that straight down through that channel, pull it home, I'm straight out of the bottom, and I'll put a bit of pressure on there until my epoxy sets off. So it makes it easier to pull through and all that sort of stuff uh, for it to dry. Um, I'm keeping these wires really 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 long um, I'm also gonna just do my metal rim now what I've done is is taken an edge as we spoke about last week taking an edge off this to reveal uh, a little bit of um, a little bit of bareness that we can solder to and I'm just going to drop some down on there right so what I'll probably have to do is fold this back afterwards um, so we don't interrupt our, our battery cavity but again what I've done is I've, I've put a hole so this is going to run straight down straight down the hole now I've probably got some interruption on the battery there let me just have a look, here we drop through happy days a little bit on the back I might have to take off but we'll see I might have to file a little bit of this uh, this back bit off just to so it doesn't sort of uh, impede on the uh, on the travel through the hole so I thought you know someone's bound to moan don't want to watch this don't care it's all I had <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like loving your viewers, is there? So that should then be able to just drop straight in, straight in the tube. That'll run down through the hole I've made, and then I can feed that back up for the Atty. I'm going to uh, mix up some epoxy next. The stuff that I hate, the stuff that is the spawn of the devil, um, which is uh, that rubbish. Um, hate it. Does a damn good job. Hate it. Uh, I'm going to go away. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to get my little nipple in place and uh, I'll pop back into. Well, this week I had originally intended to uh, give you the Vamo board uh, mod, make it been promising, but I've put it off for another week because I need a bit more practice with some of the tools. And I got sent this for repair, if possible. Uh, it's a VV mod with a circuit at least I'm familiar with. A chip circuit. Um, and what happened is it'd been using oversized batteries in it for a bit and then went back to standard ones, but the extra pressure from the oversized batteries is split away the base so there's a few options you could have to repair it and you could glue it back in place or melt it back in place and it might stay for a while but there's not a great deal to hold on to here so it's probably going to happen again uh, you could cut it so you could use two say 18500 batteries and add layers of epoxy on the side to give a good firm base to it but what I'm going to do is just transplant it into a brand new body uh, I've got a case here which I've, I've already prepared up whereby I've filled in the holes with epoxy filled across the top with a layer of epoxy and smoothed it off 
and got rid of the ridges at the bottom so it's all ready to go uh, so I won't need that bit anymore uh, basically I'm just going to transplant everything that's in here into the new case except for the 510 connector as he's told me that he uh, was having problems with the thread on the connector apparently so what I'll be doing as I don't have any of these I'll be replacing it with a standard 510 connector and if you need the usability of an Ego thread on the top you can just add a 510 Ego adapter into it doing it this way it makes it a bit more versatile than this because otherwise you're just stuck with this bit sticking out uh, this will all be in so I suppose I better get to work taking it apart the first job I have to do is desolder the switch and this has a wire coming from the positive of the battery into it and from the other side of the switch it goes from here to the display so you get a voltage display and to the atomizer connector so I just need to remove those wires so tin up the solder iron to make it easier you just touch the wire to it and the wire should just pull away Otherwise it's not so easy. I'm going to need to grab some tweezers I think to do this. So just give me one second. Just a simple pair of tweezers can be coming very handy here. Get a grip on the wire you want, and just a very small pressure. It helps if you actually hold the wire, not the insulation. And there you go. That's the first wire removed. And the second appears to be attached underneath, so we'll apply a bit of downward pressure to it. And again, just melting the solder. No. All I need to do is bend this up a bit so I can get to it. So after a little bit of work I've got rid of the other wire now, so that's the switch totally disconnected. And I'll take that out, I'll be using that in the new case, and these as well. These just push up, that's the positive. And the negative. Leave it out like so. So there's your circuit. Uh, it's quite a neat job, there's no problems there. The display is already coming loose. Uh, so most of this should be quite easy to remove as it's been fixed in with hot glue. So it's pretty much going to be a matter of sliding the knife in and just easing the glue away from the case for now it doesn't matter 
too much if I damage one of those ways because I'm going to have to remove them anyway. But this one, from a variable resistor, I don't want to damage if I can help it. This extra work is just not what I'm looking for. So I just gently pry away all the glue. pop back to you when I've got rid of it all. Right, well I've just mixed up my putty and it smells like, I don't know what it smells like, it is disgusting rubbish. Um, all I'm just doing <coughs> is, Tramp's bottom I think, uh, I'm just going to get a little bit of this and dab it around the inside of this nipple giving it a good coating not too much to bleep bit on the wire as well down the bottom smells disgusting so what my sister's feet were better than this when we were growing up so I've got some on my nipple let me remove this rubbish from view. I wish I could remove it from my nose. Um, and all I'm going to do now is where my battery nipple is going to go. I'm going to feed my wire down inside there. Being careful to hold this as I pull it through. Uh, I don't want it to touch anything on its way through. Guide it in. And we're just guiding that down inside there. Line it up roughly where I want it to go. And like that. And I'm just going to hold that in place while it sets. While that does that, I shall pause this and come back when I'm on the other bit. And there we go. We have our first little section over. And, and yes, uh, I, I decided that after making the, or starting to make it, um, I decided to film it because I had nothing else to do. Didn't have a clue what to do this week and uh, and it sort of, it, it fell. I, I stole a, a piece of wood from my, my brother's kitchen. Um, I hope he didn't need it for anything. If he did, it's now vaping. Um, yes, so I'm gonna pop into our first little air break now, if I can find the buggers. Um, I've, I've had problems tonight. I, I, Yes, lots of problems. Tell you more when we come back. Here's the first ad break. Liberty Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. in Yorkshire for your ECPs. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-Elixir.co.uk iVeber and iVeber-Elixir.co.uk Proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv Liberty Flight sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley. We are back in the room, and I've just seen a comment pop up from uh, from my my co-host uh, Mark. Um, it's disgusting stuff. He's saying it doesn't. That epoxy absolutely reeks. It is disgusting. One of the reasons I hate it. The other reason I hate that epoxy. It goes everywhere. You have no control over that whatsoever. Um, it's like taking a woman shopping. Um, you know, 
they have a mind of their own and so does that uh, I'm going to go rapidly into our second little set uh, and uh, I'll see you back very shortly after this um, if you didn't catch it I know we had a little blip to start with but uh, but Stumpy is going up for, for auction raffle sell or whatever for the Kickstarter campaign I know a few people dropped out and this that and the other if you watch it on the replay it doesn't really matter probably didn't affect you at all uh, in with our next little bit and I'll catch you back after this So after a lot of hacking about, uh, with some surprisingly good uh, hot glue that really held together pretty well, I have the bits out here. There's a connector which I'm not going to be using on one side. There's your display, the chip and the board that go with it, the control and the negatives, switch as usual. So, the first job I want to tackle, if I get rid of these bits, which we definitely won't be needing in this mod, keep them for something else because that sort of thing always comes in handy. First thing I need to do is make some sort of hole for the display. So, to do that, I'm going to get I've got the Dremel with the thin cutting disc, the smallest one I've got. These are very fragile so you have to be very careful when using these because one slip and you can end up with bits everywhere. But I just need to cut a mark through the case so I can see where this board is specifically so I know I'm cutting in the right place for the hole. So hopefully this will work. Or not. Um, okay, I'll swap that a bit. Okay, instead, I'll we'll just pop a small hole through the case. roughly where that's going to be and the next job is to mask off the area so I've got a chance to draw on it so I'm going to line up the tape with the holes is just below the line so that's where I'm going to start at and here's the display so basically I'm just going to line it up and draw on it two ticks so I've marked out what I need to cut out of here and added a bit more light so you can see better so back to the cutting disc and hopefully
roughly cutting this out. Right, so I've wrestled with the devil, i.e. that epoxy, and uh, and I have my, if you like now, my battery holder is in place in our pulsing Eti building station majobi thing. What I need to do now is just flip it over, and I've got to get my pos wire through, um, up, and in to where my switch is going to be going. Now, that should pop through there nicely and we should be able to pull that one down relatively tight into there into our channel because obviously our channel as we said we're going to backfill with epoxy now I'm going to just snip off and leave me enough room to play with for the switch um, and I need to feed this one now which is coming off my neck tube back round and through to where my uh, my atty holder is going to go. So feed that through and pull that down in the channel. Now there will be a bit of backlash on this I think when we uh, when we feed this back through there will be some slack because I need to have a, enough room to work with on, on the Etty connection. Now I will keep it as, as sort of tight as, as I can which is round about there but I fully expect some of that to uh, to pop down back through. Next stage is going to be to connect the atty up. Now, let me just uh, tin this up very very quickly first. Like I say, I don't want to take too long on this on this mod today. Um, I had no idea what we were going to do and uh, and, and this just seemed like a, a good idea because we spoke about it. So I'm just going to tin up this one on the top there, pop that one on there. I'm just going to string back some of my POS wire for the POS connection on our Etty. And I noticed that the VAMO, uh, the VAMO Etty connector is a strange beast. Um, because this is chrome, what they've actually done on the, I'll show you when we, when we solder on, if we can get his tip, I need a new tip I think, we'll go down on this and have a look. Now what they've actually done on this ATI connection is there is a little raised blob. Now it is actually a solder point. Uh, because, like I said, with the other half, we had to strip some back to uh, to solder on here. But what they've actually done on this is put in a solder point, which makes it a damn sight easier to solder to. First thing I'm going to do is just drop my my pos wire down inside there, 
and get that one all connected up which is easier said than done with this damn thing there's my pos wire in place and I'm going to bring in me lump of wood and it is a lump of wood now all you're going to see is the back of this is I have to get down low try not to burn the wood as I go because that would be stupid and bloody near impossible I might do it the easy way if my hammock won't come to the mountain, let's bring the mountain to Mohammed. If your name is Mohammed, I do apologize. Tricky little bugger. But we got a fix. So we have our pos and our neg in place. Now obviously what I've got to do is feed my pos wire back through me hole in the middle. Give that a pull. And go back down. And I should be ready to, uh, to feed that in. But obviously what I'm going to have to do, let me come back out. Obviously, what I'm going to have to do is, is a, like I said, there will be some slack, but hopefully I've left that channel big enough to take up that slack, and I'll be able to work that back round in there like so, and we'll be able to drop a, a little bead of, of our uh, epoxy or filler back down in there. So that's going to be cool and our pause needs to go back up to our switch but we're going to do that after we've uh, after we've got our connector in first thing that i'm realistically going to need to do is do a little continuity test first just to check that what i've got is working and i shall switch to the uh, to the bpometer and hopefully i should have a beep from there to there which we do have happy days that means I need to go away and work with the devil again and uh, and epoxy this thing in and uh, and I'll pop back when that is done so I'm the connector the last bit of the uh, or the outstanding bit of the Vamota mod is uh, is now embedded in the wood uh, what I'm going to do very quickly is just string back a couple of these uh, these wires on the end of it. Now these two are the two that are going to be going to our switch. So let me just grab a bit of solder, tin up the ends of, uh, of these two wires, and obviously the purpose for putting this in is going to be for pulsing. I'm just getting my switch attached on there. Now with my switch attached, theoretically we have a, a circuit. Um, now obviously I'm going to leave the wires that long so I can feed them back into my channel. What I'm going to very quickly do is pop in a battery. Pop on a top cap that needs a polish. Let's, uh, what have we got lying around? Have we got an Atty? Have we got an Atty? Oh, screw them on. There we go. Screw that on. Now, there's your your atta you're working on. You should be able to press this button to pulse it or to vape it. So. We've either made the biggest wood mod in the country, or we've made a nice little table, and my solder joints just come on with the switch. Um, we've made a nice little table uh, to pulse our atomizers. That should hold better. 
to pulse our atties. What remains for me to do is to epoxy this switch in, um, feed all the stuff in the channels underneath and get some epoxy in there and then I'll pop back and uh, then we'll go through our next little phase. Shouldn't be much left, um, as I say, a nice quick job, um, just because I was lost for something to do. There we go, talk to you in a bit. And there we go, our sort of mid bit. Um, and, and yes, it was sort of, uh, the idea came to me. I was I was looking at a lump of wood in the shed and thought, I need something to, to help me build Etties, because I'm terrible. Um, and I was sort of struggling trying to balance it on a, on a you know, an Etty, uh, not an Etty, on a mod, um, and, and do it. So I thought, yeah, something like that, ideal. I know I, had, I drilled a hole in the bench and stick a 510 connection in, but being able to test it sort of while you're doing it, seemed a good idea at the time um, hopefully it's appreciated and, and you you may well have a crack at one of these yourself um, any off cut would easy he says um, I'm going to pop into a second hour break and I'm looking for it I don't know where it is um, it's down there somewhere uh, it is down there somewhere bear me one second he will find it he's looking real hard and he's found them there we go I'm going to pop into this I'll see you back into bad night for me Liberty Flight sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley. Sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. And we're back. And I've realised I have waffled far too long this week. So I need to crack straight in with uh, with Mark's next bit of his repair job. I'll see you back after this little section. What am I going to deal with now? <laughs> on depth wise I just need to clear out the corners and we should be there for the sides as well back on a bit of cutting I think so I've cleaned off the edges squared up the corners with a standing knife now this should just pop straight through and there you have it so that'll fix in place and I think that's quite a neat job really so that's one down next is going to be the holes for the various bits so it's going to stick in there so the atomizer will be this side and the control for the voltage will be the other side and this uh, it's quite a, th a short uh, control on it 
and I've got quite a thick surface so the only way to get that to work normally would be to cut out a square hole and mount the actual unit flush and then just with the lid air knob on top but as you may have noticed I'm not good with square things so I'm going to pop that off and I've found a small knob that I can replace it with which has grips to cut out so instead that will just push on there and I'll dab a glue in place and then you'll have that so this this section here will run through the case and to do that I'll need a 7mm hole approximately or in inches 9.30 seconds which is what I've marked out on that ready so that'll be the first hole I go with that but first it's going to be pilot holes so I think I want that fairly central Oops, oh, it might help if I give it a bit more light now, wouldn't it? That's better. At least as I will remember. Now the atomizer again, I want to be fairly central in a bit so that it's got a bit of space for a tank if you so desire. And that's that. A bit of epoxy come away from the back, but not to worry. It's not actually needed. Now I need to work out where the switch is going to go, it's going to be on this side it's going to be somewhere around here I want it close to the board so I think there so that's the pilot holes drilled next the bit that always worries me that's going to be the stuff drilled through this epoxy and I've marked it out for the like I said for the control knob first slow speed let the uh, drill do all the work so. next it's ready marked out for the atomizer connector the main mill hole so once again second hole done and finally the switch hole which I know is a 13 mil hole so the entire half inch drill bit so I'll start off on the bench enough like I've just been you won't damage any of the epoxy surface so you get a nice clean surface so fingers crossed it should all be perfect and I guess it's time to clean up
and my switch is now in place. I've epoxied my switch in and effectively what I've done as well is, is run uh, some epoxy and let that set off in my channel leaving me a nice flat edge to put my uh, uh, leather or leatherette finish on the bottom uh, so it doesn't scratch any tables or anything like that. What I'm going to do very very quickly is start doing this uh, with a bit of the uh, linseed oil and uh, I'm going to apply about three coats of this as I did before but just start getting some of that on there where he's going all over the shot smooth it around just to start getting this treated up with the wax oil whatever it is So yes, I can work around there, and the beauty, I mean, I know it, when I did the mods, I, uh, I i did this bit last, or did it first, but with this, I'm just going to buff my metal off as I go, just to give this a nice finish. You can see that it's different type of, uh, this is oak as well, I do believe, but a totally different type of oak to, to what I was working with when, when I was making the, um, making the, the mod the little oaky so just working it in and you can see with this stuff you're going to get a nice durable finish loving the colour on this against that metal just working it into the green and getting it absolutely everywhere on the end grains you can't get enough of this stuff it laps it up I tell you And effectively what I plan to do is to uh, coat all this up, give it a f good coat of this oil, a couple more coats before I, uh, before I hit the sack tonight. I'm going to do this side as well, just because I can. You see how easy it is to work with this stuff, really, really, really quick and easy. course around the switch and again it doesn't really matter if I get a little tiny bit on the metal of that switch because what I'm going to do is buff this off in a tiny bit but just getting it all around there a couple of bits where it hasn't taken let's get it in make sure it does so effectively what I need to do now is let this soak in. I'm going to stick this somewhere where this wax can do its stuff. It's not wax, it's oil. You keep saying wax. Let this oil do its stuff. Let it dry for a little bit. Give it a buff off. And then once I've given it a fair few coats I intend to leave this overnight. And uh, I will revisit it tomorrow where we may well attempt to uh, to pulse an Eti. I'm not quite sure. I don't know whether I'll even get time to do it um, and get it all edited and all that sort of stuff before Monday uh, because obviously it's Saturday today but I'm gonna keep treating this, keep it going. You can see how that's coloured up. It's coloured up lovely. Very very nice. Um, pop that to one side there is effectively our we're going to call it our Atty building pulsing station um, see you back in the studio right so I've just been building a, a new wick on here um, totally forgot to, uh, to to film the pulsing bit but uh, you can see I've got me wick jobby thing all in there going on um, basically the beauty I think of this is I'm building my wick and I press the button I'm testing it as I go and I can pulse that I've, I'll pulse this one down I 
and I've been pulsing it, adding a bit more juice. But the beauty I think of this is I can actually sort of sort me at it before I put it on a device. I know roughly now where I need, you know, where I want this to be. And it's great just having it built into a little table. It is. I say that. It is it's for me. Because I was, you know, not struggling, but it was on a mod, off a mod, on a mod, off a mod, twist it, do it, whatever. If you don't want to damage your mod, build it in something like this. If you're worried about it, you can put the short stop in there. A um, little device, I believe we looked at a little while ago. So you can put a short stop in there that if you had a problem on your Etty, we kill the battery. So all safe and ding dang dandy and all that sort of stuff. But for me, that A is now I'm just pulsing it a tiny bit more. Pretty much bang on. And I'm rubbish at it. But they're steaming. So there we go. The purpose of it, as I built it, is to aid me building me at it. Um, I think it looks quite good in the process. Happy days, back to me in the studio. And it is back to me in the studio because we have nearly uh, come to an end again. And I'm going to turn around. Um, I've been waxing lots, and and we're sort of look sort of here now it's, it's taken on the end grain was absolutely taking a load of oil um, still on. Um, still uh, buff the hell out and yes. with the oil uh, apologize um, don't uh, stop He's good. Uh, things up. Sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley.